My name is Frank Garcia. I'm often referred to as the man with the million dollar hands. Today I'd like to do a little treatise on the famous, the classic, cups and balls. I'll sit down. Why don't you? I will. In front of me, I have what is considered one of the classics in magic. This is a set of Paul Fox cups, and within the three cups, I have three red balls. I'd like to discuss a move called the galloping post. Now, there are many ways of getting into it. For example, this is one. One cup, two, three. Checking out the cups again, setting them down, I'll place one ball in front of cup A, cup B, and cup C. Now watch, I do nothing, but I do it extremely well. This ball goes under that cup. This ball goes under that cup, leaving one ball. This one going here, I say the magic words, Blato Orientalis, and there are the three balls. Going from the ridiculous to the BMT, I shall do this again, taking the cups and showing them to be quite free of guile. I'll set them down on the table. Now this is a beautiful move. Uh, considering that we have three cups and three balls, you say to the audience, perhaps this is getting too confusing because I'm using too, too many balls. Taking the first ball, placing it into the hand and into the pocket, Taking the second ball, placing it into the hand and into the pocket, leaving on the table three cups and one ball. This is perhaps one of the most spectacular moves that can be done with the cups and balls. Credited to Charlie Miller, a very clever West Coast magician. I have one ball, three cups. Let's check out the cups. There's one cup, two, three. One, two, Three, and the ball remains on top of the top cup. If you watch carefully, you'll see that ball penetrate right through the cup. Watch. There's the first. There's the second. There's the third. Speaking in the vernacular, this kid's clever. The Egyptians were clever people. Some say that the cups and balls came from Egyptian origin. And I think in time, in that point in time, they precepted the idea, they toyed around with the idea of doing the three shell game, the Egyptian way. I'll show you what I mean. Keep your eye on the small elusive ball, not the three cups. Here we go, at the count of three. One, two, three. Here, no. It's always the one that you least suspect, very much like the way they do it today on, along Fifth Avenue. Let's do it again for the second time. Watch the ball at the count of three. One, two, three. It's not here. It's not here. That ball, the elusive ball, is always where you least suspect it. Let's start again by taking the ball, placing it into the pocket, leaving on the table three cups and three balls. Now, this is also a very, very pretty move that can be used during the course of your cup and ball manipulation. Three balls on top of three cups. Ball number one, I place into the pocket. Leaving on the table, ball number two, which I also place into the pocket. Leaving on the table, the third one. Watch this. The first penetrates, the second penetrates. Is there no end to this man's cleverness? By placing this into this pocket, you tell the audience, let me start all over again.